so now that we've basically made some of her picture um, slightly pink we can go back to um, we can go back to like undo 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 and it's basically back to the way that it started so um now she's um basically ready to still virtually do anything um that you all want me to do um some of the other things that you can do is you can um select it and some of the effects are like apply surface texture paper is the one that I use probably the most there's also 3d brush strokes and um, oh there's a key thing on on coral and you, you you actually have to do this or you could get stuck and never ever progress past this it's basically a hazard if you don't know it and it's right here it's a secret and it's called drop all literally the program will stand still until you press drop all and then it'll actually start cooperating and so that's something that is key apply surface texture 3d brush strokes okay and then it changed you didn't see it change, but it actually changed. Um, you have to um, apply, you have to do it, their softness. Um, and then it just gets, it's actually like, it just warps it. There's also image luminescence. It already has the sandpaper effect, so usually this shows up a little bit more when it starts out clear. I actually already gave it an effect, so it doesn't necessarily look the way it would look with an original um metamorphosis you might say anyways um so that's something that you can do also something that people don't know about is you can adjust the light color here also um while you're here if you want to change the texture you can go right into changing the lighting from here also um so we've already done pink we've so we'll do like a, a shade of yellow i guess Anyway, so now it's also changed here. You can also adjust the brightness and exposure here um, and add new light just like in, in the other one. So, um, <clears throat> so that's fun. And when you don't like it or if you don't like it at all, you can always press cancel. Or you can press OK, check it out, and then go to edit and then go to undo. So, um that's something else so we'll go to cancel and um, also some of the things that you can do <clears throat> is this is something people don't realize just how much can be effective um, it's called I call it the drop the droplet or the dropper um, basically if you take this little droplet thing you can test a color right here it appears right here it actually captured it from right here wherever you click on the picture it'll adopt that exact color from that exact tint from that exact spot that you tapped with a pin size ending and put it right here and this is a paint fill bucket and that'll actually fill this even though it's sandpaper <clears throat> it will fill it without it being sandpaper it'll turn it blank but if I want to, I can apply sandpaper again. And it goes back to, except now it doesn't have the clouds. Now it's just a blank gray with sandpaper. So, but you know what? I'm going to actually show you what it looks like, what 3D brush strokes looks like without the sandpaper first, with just a flat surface. And this is where you get the rosary shapes and if you want I can um, bring out the color in it for instance <clears throat> I could apply um, lighting 
since that's how I do it when it works and you can change the lighting so now even though it was specifically gray the light doesn't really give a fuck you know what is cool about it you know how it shows on this picture that it's gonna change the cloud cover too well guess what because you've actually selected only this it's crazy but it'll only change the color on this right here none of this over here even though it shows it right here watch bam isn't that sick and the lighting didn't catch all of it so you have a really cool um lighting effect so that is a picture now changed from the original um, with an interpretation of creative perspective um, so that's a lot of fun